Hello guys, so we are arriving in Singapore and we have a problem now. While we're doing the maneuvering, we lost all the information, all the data for our monitoring to our... So we lost all the information to our main engine monitoring. We do not have all these temperatures, pressures, and we need to fix this one. And we need to find out what is the main cause why all these cards are down now. So come and join me in this new learning. Upon checking our alarm and monitoring system, our input-output cards are all in red marks. And checking our display, we do not have all these temperatures into our main engine, including uh, the turbochargers, the load, and everything. Everything that we should be having onto this display are all in blank. So we need to find out what is the main reason why all these cars are down? Of course, the first thing that comes always into our mind when we have this thing is to restart the system. And after restarting, we still have the same condition. All the alarms were reset after the restart and then again came back. So the alarm is still there. The problem is still there and we need to go to the next step and that is to check the line if we have something or we have problem onto our main line. Checking the alarm and monitoring system main circuit breaker, it is actually switched on. And then I check the card and in the card it says we have a power fail alarm. And it means that our alarm and monitoring system 24 volts is not actually supplying this main card. So we also have this alarm on the fuse box and we need to find out why we have this power fail alarm. There was a sub breaker designated to this alarm and monitoring system card. And this is the F332 Ampere and it is actually tripped. So we need to find out what is causing this breaker to trip. As you can see, when I measured the input voltage on the terminal of our power card, it is not having 24 volts. And I check the input voltage onto our circuit breaker and I am having actually a 24 volt volts DC and of course to check the output line we will not be having this 24 volts because it is switch off so I have decided to reset this breaker after I reset the breaker I check now the condition of the power card and then we reset the power fail alarm and then we need to move to the next which is to check the fuse box. And checking on the fuse box, we also have this red LED, which is also saying we have power fail alarm. And to investigate this one, we need to know what is also the main cause. Notice that the yellow LED also onto our power module, we have this earth fail alarm, which is the yellow LED. It means that we also have earth fault into our system. So this trouble, we need to find out the main cause of this so that we can move to the next troubleshooting. So moving to the fuse box, we have this power fail. As, as you can notice, this LED is not lit on. So it says we have a maximum of 7.5 amperes fuse for that one and to investigate 
all of this UTL 6 to 15 power module or this I.O. modules are all connected to this. So I was thinking that the 2 ampere fuse which is actually installed to this uh, fuse box is not enough. And as you can see, it is written actually in there it is 7.5 amperes. So I check also the voltage onto the terminals and I cannot have 24 volts DC. So I will remove this fuse and we will check if we have spare. So checking the fuse onto the line voltage, it is not blown. And checking the other fuse onto the neutral line, this is actually what was blown. So we need to replace this one. But of course, to ensure, we also need to check the continuity of this fuse if it is still okay or not. So after checking the continuity of our fuses, I found out that really one of them was blown. So to analyze the situation, we have a lot of cards connected to these lines. And I think the 2 ampere fuse is not enough to hold all the cards connected to this line. So we ask for the technician's advice if we can increase the fuse. Anyways, it is written on the fuse box that the maximum can be 7.5 amperes. So after changing the fuse to 5 amperes, we were able to restore the power on to this line and checking the alarm and monitoring system everything went normal except for the yellow cards which turns to have an earth fault so now everything is normal except for the earth fault i have already made a separate blog in finding an earth fault in this kind of input output card so i will just put the, the link on the description down below for your reference. So in finding the earth fault in our situation, be to our fuel oil high pressure leak pipe. After opening the sensor, I found out a little bit of moisture into the cables. So I just wipe it out and clean the terminals and then I put back. After that, everything went normal this type of sensor is actually testing the conductivity onto our pipe so the two led will actually have a conductivity once we have a fuel flow onto the pipe so it has also an input voltage of 24 volts so after we manage to clean all these cables we also tested the alarms if it will be activating and be deactivating so everything went well after clearing or cleaning these cables in this clip the alarm is active and then after we remove the sensors into the testing pan everything went normal Okay, so after checking and finding the earth fault, now our system is back to normal. Excuse my sweaty look because it's a busy day here in Singapore. We also have a non-working monorail right now. I will attend to that one. But for now, this system is back to normal. And see you on my next vlog. We will fix that monorail crane. And let's see what is, prob what is the problem onto that one. See you.